Thanks for checking out the Passive Geek Show. It's tech news for people interested in tech, but not in a geeky way. Facebook is asking you to send in your nude photos. Why? Well, it's a pilot program in Australia, the U.S., the U.K., and Canada. They're trying to stop revenge porn. You know, people posting nude photos of you without your permission. They're trying to save you from yourself. Now, if you're worried someone is going to post a nude photo of you, you're going to go to Facebook, you're going to fill out a form, and then you're going to send a picture of yourself using Messenger. And after Facebook gets your nude photo, they'll use image matching technology to tag the picture that will keep people from sharing your naked self before your shame. But Tony, what if I had my clothes on but was doing something sexual? Google is updating search and Google Maps to let you know wait times at restaurants. Google plans to have wait times for a million sit-down restaurants all around the world. Now to get to this, you search for the restaurant on Google, open the business listing, and a popular time section is going to come up with an estimated wait time in real time. You can even tap on any hour on the bar graph to see how long the wait will be for that period. You know, if you've got plans. This should be available to everybody really soon. If you get an email from Netflix saying your account is suspended because you need to update your information, and in the email they provide a link to update your information, don't click the link. It's a phishing scam designed to steal your information. You'll click the link, and you'll be sent to a site that looks just like Netflix, but it's not. You're going to log in, and then you're going to get got, and all your information is going to be stolen. Next thing you know, you're buying, I don't know, bicycles for somebody in Brazil. What you want to do is open up a browser, type Netflix.com, and log in. If there's a problem with your account, you'll see a notification. You do know you should never click a link inside an email. Now, this scam's been around for a while, but it's been making a comeback lately. Your iPhone may be too smart of a smartphone. Its photo apps will put pictures into categories. That facial recognition feature is really cool. The thing is, it recognizes more than faces. Ladies, type Brazier in the search inside the app. Apparently, your iPhone can identify when you or anyone in your picture saved is wearing a bra. It uses an artificial intelligence algorithm and searches for shapes that resemble bra straps. Well, what if I don't wear a bra? Well, don't, you know what, don't ask me questions like that. That's all I got. If you learned something, give me a like and share and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. If you're not watching on YouTube, think about going to YouTube and subscribing. And you can level up your love, too, by being a patron of mine for just 99 cents a month on Patreon.com. Details in the description below. Thanks for checking out the Passive Geek Show. It's tech news that's not too techy. I'm Tony Scott.